Hello, everybody. First of all, you know I have to say thank you. Thank you to my patrons. It's because of you that I'm continuing to bring these art videos to my channel and sharing my art with you. If you want to be a patron of the arts, there's a link to the PayPal in the description box where small donations are welcome. Remember this painting? This was the last video that I put out and I got so many comments, people saying they wanted to see it done in blue because the pillow cells kind of look like a wave. And I thought that would be so awesome. So I tried to do it and that's what this is. So the base you're seeing is it's a 16 inch canvas. And again, I used the micaceous oxide by Golden Fluids with the white Golden Fluid and um, that kind of made a silver. I used Iridescent uh, Medium by Sargent. Oh, last thing, you guys, literally like six days to my auction. Um, low open bids, new and older works will be featured, so save the date and time, December 1st at 4 p.m. That's this Sunday, so don't forget to be there and I shall see you then. Um, Okay, so as you can see, I'm just start layering colors. It's um, Prussian blue, white, turquoise, teal, and gold. And I'm just kind of drizzling some colors over there. Things that I think would look good as water. I'm thinking about the ocean right now. And um, I have gotten a lot of comments on what I'm mixing my paints with and like I said, these are all golden fluids and I'm mixing them with GAC 800 and um, the Golden's Pouring Medium. And those two things are the only thing I'm using in these uh, paintings. So it's a little bit of an expensive mix, <laughs> which is why I have been trying it with other things, but it doesn't always work. So. I put the black swipe color on the top, you can see, and then I wanted to add just a little bit more white there. I'm totally in love with the golden fluid white. Um, but what I, one thing I notice about these pillow cells, here's some little tidbits that I'm learning. You have to have, you have to work with a transparent, a semi-transparent color on the top. So. That's why when I tried gold, it didn't necessarily work. It was too opaque. I have tried an other color too, like black, and it did not work. So for some reason, the pearl, which is what I've been using most often, it works the best because I think it's, I think because it's semi-transparent. So if you put a semi-transparent paint on the top of a really dark color like black, then as you tilt the canvas back and forth, it begins to reveal the black paint underneath. And that is what makes the shadow effect of those pillow cells. So that's the gist of the whole technique, basically. Um, someone, I think Mina Villegas was like, why don't you um, tilt after you put those um, pearl drops on the top. And I also was thinking, I don't know, that's a dang good question, Mina. Why don't I do that? Because it's funny how you just don't even think about something until you do it. So um, unfortunately, I had already done this painting by the time she had recommended that. And a couple other people had said so too. So thank you for your comments. I do appreciate it. And, Man, it's funny how sometimes you just don't even think about things um, until they get mentioned to you. So I'm noticing these right away are very thin at the bottom. And so I went back and added a little bit more of that pearl. And um, yeah, I don't know. I wonder how it would be if I didn't. I'm actually quite curious to see. I kind of like the random patterns it makes though when I've 
swiped and then I tilt. Look at the patterns it makes. It's very pretty to me. But overall, I have to say, like, there's something about this one. I'm just... Oh, I don't know. I'm not... I'm just not loving it. Um, I don't know if it's the composition thing or what. I'm not getting some of the effects I want. Um, I'm just not loving it, and I don't know why, really. Uh, it doesn't... Because I wanted it to look like a wave. I think that's... I, I had an expectation of it kind of looking like the shore, and it didn't, so... Yep, I thought, what if I swipe on both sides? Not necessarily, well, I mean, I'm giving up on the wave idea now. <laughs> so I thought, I'm going to swipe on both sides and see what happens. decided to do a little close-up here of the swipe so you guys can see that's just a dry paper towel and I think if you watch my last video you can see I decided to switch to the dried paper towels versus the moist or wet paper towels because they leave less of a watery residue and then they keep a little bit more of the shape actually go really slow you guys for most of my paintings and if you can believe it like this whole process was sped up like four or eight times um, I think this painting was like I don't know an hour and a half long or something <laughs> and I just condense it down to my 15 minutes But you can see when I'm swiping, I like to give different movement and the way that you do that, I know a lot of people like to be very precise and they're trying to just swipe down perfectly. I want to give some curls and some different textures in there and I don't know. I'm looking at that and I'm still feeling unhappy about this painting. So here we go. <laughs> That's a gold, by the way. Golden fluids, gold. Iridescent gold. Fine. It's iridescent gold, fine. So I decide I'm going to play around with the white a little bit more and see. Now I'm starting to get some muddy effects which is why I added, decided white would be the next swipe color because I've already swiped with black and I don't want to just keep making this painting darker and darker. And to be honest, you guys, I'm just playing now. <laughs> I'm just playing around because, you know, when you have an expectation of a painting and what it's supposed to be, there's just a certain point where you can just give up on that idea and then just let go of everything. So I'm unhappy with what's happening, but I am very determined. And then this idea comes to me. What if I, it's a round canvas, what if I swiped in a circle? So I go all the way around in one fluid motion. And at first I thought, okay, I don't know, you know, um, it, I'm like, okay, it's not incredibly special, but I can see as, you see I tilt a little bit, and as I start tilting, I can see little cells popping up, the white begins to pop through some of the places, um, 
and the golden pouring medium with the GAC 800 it is beautiful and so I'm, the colors are just so vibrant so I put more of the golden fluid pearl down in the center because now I'm seeing what the possibility is for a swipe and I just get this idea of making a cloud right there in the center. So I just carefully swipe and immediately, now, I, just, I was so excited when I saw that. I was like, oh, it's so pretty and so ethereal looking and it just sits on the top basically because um, I've already swiped that you know that down to the canvas many many times think about how many times I swiped in this painting so I just add more of that pearl and then use another little piece of paper towel and I'll just swipe around like that. So now I love that because I kind of have like a green side and a blue side and see that black is making almost a Payne's gray in the center there. So there's a lot of contrasts coming up. The teal I decide to put down. I'm just playing off the colors that are already there, you guys. So I see teal. Now I'm going to make one that has a lot of teal in it. And, you know, I, I made one that had a lot of green because there was green on that area. So the colors I'm adding in, I'm just playing off what I see already. So see, I see the... That's golden fluid, golden green or green gold, I think it's called. And then I just swipe again. And then I noticed as it sat, it started to kind of dissipate a little bit. So I just went back in with a few drops to highlight. And honestly, the final drops added there, <clears throat> it totally solidified that cloudy look. And I'm just very, very gently dragging. I'm not trying to disrupt the patterns that are already there. I'm trying to just add a few highlights. So I'm looking at the pattern, adding a few drops, and then just barely wisping over the top so it doesn't look like a, you know, a drop. Because now I, I know from looking at it before, it's gonna dissipate a little bit and it'll Kind of smooth itself out and that is the cloud swipe <laughs> and I want to take this underneath the light to show you guys um, there's so much sparkly iridescent uh, medium in this and the silver um, base layer and then all of the pearl that it kept changing colors I noticed I was taking photos even in the video it just keeps shifting colors. Um, sometimes the warmer color will come through. I used um, just so many pearlescent colors in here. And it was almost, it was very hard to take a photo and to film this. See, <laughs> I just shifted a little bit and it changed colors. So it's really pretty though. Kind of like the eye of a hurricane but there's something much more calm about this to me than the hurricane um, it's very peaceful and soothing to me this piece and I think if I finish it with that high gloss varnish it's gonna be so pretty so thanks for coming along with me for my cloud swipe journey and I as always can't wait to make more videos just for you Thanks guys, have a beautiful day.